What's up, party people? Android Stud here. Hey, don't tell anybody. But I think I'm going to use this iPhone for about 30 days. Shh. Well, 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 part of people. Yes, I did take the plunge into the Apple ecosystem for 30 days. Now, this is the iPhone 12 Pro. Now, I know everybody's watching the channel is freaking out right now. Pump the brakes. Let's get into the video. Now, I've had, I've been using this as my daily phone on my main SIM card. I only have one SIM card. I have another phone for work, which is actually an iPhone, but I never used it. So this is the first time that I'm going full time, belly flop right into the pool with the iPhone, with any iPhone. This is the iPhone 12 Pro. I did use the iPhone 12 Pro Max for a little bit in the beginning, but I went to the smaller form factor because I just like the size of this one. Although I did love the battery on the iPhone Pro Max. It was absolutely phenomenal. Now, this, let's get into it. Okay, as you guys all know, I'm an Android user for 10 years. I started with the Google Nexus One, and from there, so on and so on and so on. Now, what made me try the iPhone 12 Pro? Well, it was a challenge. A friend of mine said, look, why don't you try the iPhone? I bet you can't use it for 30 days. Well, guess what? I won that bet. And now I'm gonna discuss it in this video. What I like, what I don't like, what I think could be better, um, and what is really, really phenomenal about the iPhone ecosystem, about their devices, about everything. Now, I use an iPad Pro 12.9 to edit all my videos. The video that I'm doing for this video, I edited on the iPad Pro. I use LumaFusion, so I'm familiar with Apple and some of their products. So, but let's get into the phone now. This is reminiscent of an iPhone 4, if you guys remember that. If you don't remember that, maybe you went from an iPhone 4 to an Android phone back then, but this is a very square design. It's like a box. Now, very comfortable, the iPhone 12 Pro. The iPhone 12 Pro Max was not comfortable in that boxy design. I think the iPhone 11 Pro Max is probably a little comfortable. And obviously the Note 20 Ultra is, just feels like butter in the hand. But this is a really nice form factor. I like this phone without the case, but I will not rock it without a case because I am not a dummy. Now this costs me $1,000 from Apple. I bought this phone myself. Apple did not send this to me. <laughs> If you think they did, you tripping. But look, this is a beautiful design, square design. It's got that retro build um, and it's got the flat sides, you know, those rounded corners, glass back with stainless steel rails. So it is a beautiful and expensive device. It's very well made. Um, don't know if you could chuck this across the room, if it'll be all right. I'm not gonna do that in this video. IP68. Um, you can get MagSafe on this. I, I haven't used the MagSafe. I'm not, I haven't delved that much into the Apple ecosystem now. It's a 6.1 inch display, which I find it to be a really cool size. It's kind of like the Pixel 5, where that size, that form factor is really nice. I love that, that size. Now you get AMOLED display, 2532 by 7, uh, 1170, 19.5 aspect ratio. Now. You get Face ID on here, which is great. Works really well with a lot of apps. I will give them credit for that. Ceramic shield glass, but I put a screen protector on there because I don't want to scratch this junk up. Now, battery was okay on the iPhone 12 Pro. Um, wasn't crazy about it. iPhone 12 Pro Max. <laughs> it was unbelievable. The iPhone 12 Pro Max lasted me two days. It was ridiculous. I was jealous of how good the battery was on the iPhone 12 Pro 
max. It made me mad because I used the Note 12, 12, Note 12, nah dog, <laughs> get it, get it together. Note 20 Ultra and the battery is okay, but hey, you ain't going two days. The Pixel 5 is a pretty good battery, but you probably over a day, but the Pro Max, brother, I don't know what they're doing, some kind of mumble jumble in that thing, but it, the battery on there is better. It's a bigger battery about 3,600 milliamps. This is only 2,800 milliamps. Now you get 18 watt wired charging, which is okay, not super fast. Um, you're not getting that 45 watt charger like some Androids. You get wireless charging on here. Um, you don't get a charger in the box with the iPhone 12 Pro, but to me it didn't really matter because what I did is I just wireless charge when I get home or I carry my charger with me. Um, to work or whatever it is. Uh, I think I picked one up on Amazon for 20 bucks. So, eh, yeah, you know, I'm not gonna get into that. Should they put a charge in the box? Hell yeah. Should Samsung do it going forward? Hell yeah, but they're not. So, performance. Now this has an A14 Bionic chip. I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to Apple. It's the processor they have, it's fast. It does a really good job. Six gigabytes of RAM. This is the 128 gigabyte storage. You can go up in storage if you want, but I decided to it, you know. So I guess the positive, great build quality, um, the ecosystem, I'll talk about that here in a minute. Uh, the performance, like I said, great cameras. It's got a triple camera on the back on the 12 Pro. Now you can get the mini or the regular 12 or the 12 Pro Max, which has all the, all the goodies. Now, Apple Pay is good on here. Um, Face ID, I talked about, really good. Those are two dope features on the Apple. Now, um, not too crazy about the uh, slow charging on here compared to some Android phones, but no one's gonna have a OnePlus charger or some other chargers that are really fast, but it's okay. I did wireless charging and I got away with it. Sometimes I did get a little scared of this falling under 20, 30% but I managed to uh, uh, get, get to where I needed to be. It was, it was fine. Um, so that was okay. Now, um, the cameras are great on here. You get a 12 megapixel main, 12 megapixel wide, uh, 12 meg megapixel telephoto selfie. You get 12 megapixel on the front. Uh, the video is killer on here. I got no complaints when it comes to pictures. Uh, there's my dog, Maya. I mean, it just, it's good. Now, the only thing that I will say about some of the pictures is on the portrait shot, sometimes it came out a little yellowy. I don't know what that is. Maybe you iPhone experts can tell me what that is. Um, but that was the only complaint. And portrait on objects didn't do it too good, but pe people did a good job. I have no complaints with the camera. The, the shutter button is super fast, no complaints. I could take good pictures with this phone. It's, it's up there. I wouldn't say it's better than the Pixel, but it's definitely up there with uh, some other Android phones. Um, the Note 20, I don't know, at times that phone acts like it's got a big, awesome camera, but sometimes it just fails you. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, um, but hey, it is what it is. Now let's get into the, um, the iOS, this says iOS 14, which you can see on my screen, I have my widgets set up, um, got my app library there, I got my, my apps on the right side. Now you could do some customization on here, not like Android, but they did add widgets to, um, to their home screens and it lets you do a little bit of customization, uh, a little bit. That's kind of why I wanted to try the iPhone, is just to see how they were on a little bit. Now the customization, it feels like you're, it felt, it felt a little bit like when Android started where you had to find these tricks and shortcuts and all this stuff. It's cute. The iOS with the widgets is cute. Um, it's not Android. It's not as customizable as Android. I still miss the hell out of my Note 20 Ultra because of the customization. Um, so I'll leave it at that when it comes. But the, the iOS is great. It, it works 
fast, it updates you across the board from the iPhone 6 and up, maybe even lower than that, which is, I wish Android could get to that point, but with so many different OEMs making so many different phones with so many different systems, and uh, it, it's almost impossible. So you can't blame Android that they don't have customization. I mean, not customization, but updates across the board because they're just different phones. Everybody has a different phone. So that's just the way it is. It's the, it's the curse and the blessing of being open uh, as Android is. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Now, the one thing that I will say on the, the, uh, the Apple phone is the Apple phone, the iPhone, um, is iMessage. Let's talk about iMessage for a little bit. Funny, funny thing about iMessage. It is really good. Um, couple stories, text my wife, text my, not my wife, text my daughter when I got the iPhone. She noticed right away. She said, you have an iPhone now? I said, yeah, I'm trying it for, for, for a video I'm doing. She said, oh, okay, cool. But she knew because I was a blue bubble. Somebody from work. Text them something about work. Didn't even respond about work. They just said, you have an iPhone now? I said, yeah, I got it for Christmas. And they're like, I love my 12. And I'm like, you gonna answer my thing about work? She's like, welcome to the club. Never answered my question. Buddy of mine I play golf with, he goes, oh, you got the iPhone? I said, yeah, I got the iPhone. He goes, about time. I can't stand that Android stuff. <laughs> Here's the other thing. I notice when I text people for my job, like clients, setting up stories, doing things that I do for my job, they respond quicker. It's almost like a status symbol. It's kind of funny, man. It, you, it's almost like you're part of a club. That whole aura or about being on the iMessage and the ecosystem, it's real, man. Now, am I gonna feel bad if I switch back to Android? Which I probably will. But it's kind of nice to have that connection with people. That iMessage little fantasy world that people are in with their blue bubble and no green bubbles, it exists. I can see it. I experienced it firsthand. Now, as far as apps are concerned, Instagram is pretty cool because the videos seem like they look better when I upload them from my iPhone than they do from my Android. And here is the reason. Maybe wrong, maybe right, I don't know. Apple is the best at processing video. It started when they had Final Cut Pro on their Mac computers for video editing. They process video the best out of anybody that I know. So whether you send a message through at, uh, video through, through iMessage or video through Instagram or whatever it may be, the iPhone just gets it done um, as far as video quality. So some apps are cool. Clubhouse, big time app. Everybody's using it right now. Uh, apparently it's going to come to uh, Android at some point. But I'm telling you right now, the apps and the app store are pretty darn good. Apple Pay, I've really been enjoying using that. I love Samsung Pay. I love Google Pay. So to me, it's all the same, but it's cool how you can use Face Unlock with uh, the Apple Pay to just bust up your, your phone uh, real fast. But I just wish it was more customizable. I wish you could change the icons. You probably can. I know that people are going to say that in the comments. I get it. It just seems like it's too hard. I wish it was as easy as Android. I wish you could put your icons anywhere you want it. Um, the, the iMessage thing is phenomenal. iCloud is great. Um, like I said, face unlock, uh, many other things. Um, it's really a good phone. I have, not a ton of complaints. Would I make the switch and become the Apple stud? I don't think so. I think Android is still above and beyond when it comes to some of the stuff on here. Apple, I think, has caught up in the camera game and their iOS is phenomenal. Their ecosystem is phenomenal. So I don't know. I may use it for a little longer. 
I may not. But you know what? I'll let you guys know, man. Like, subscribe to the video. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to be part of the party people. But I've been using this since Christmas Eve for 30 days. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you went from Android to Apple or Apple to Android. Tell me why. And am I, only, am I the only crazy one? That's going to do it. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching this video. Peace out, buddy people.